Okay, that's two pounds of cooked ground beef. Now I'm gonna grab two cans of tomato sauce right into our crock pot. We are making a super yummy and delicious dinner. Go ahead and give that a nice quick mix. This look good already. It looks delicious. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle in some light brown sugar. We're gonna do about four tablespoons of light brown sugar, just right in there. This is just gonna add that perfect amount of sweetness to complement that tomato. Ooh yeah, it's gonna be so good, you guys. Okay. That smells delicious. Just about right. Now we're gonna get some Worcestershire sauce. I know I say that funny, but don't judge me. How do you say that, Worcestershire? <laughs> I think you got it right. Worcestershire. And then just, come on, shake a little bit in there. We used about three tablespoons of that. And I know this is gonna be controversial, but we got some tomato ketchup. And this is gonna go just like this. Mm -mm -mm. Just a nice drizzle right in our crock pot. Let's go ahead and give that another good mix. Get all those flavors together. This is gonna be some super delicious sloppy joes in the crock pot, you guys. It's gonna be so good. I love doing this in the crock pot because it really lets those meats just soak into the flavor. And it's gonna be the best sloppy joes you've ever had, trust me. Oh, we're making sloppy joes. Yeah. All right, now it's time for the flavor town. I'm gonna do some onion powder. This is a big serving, so gotta make sure you go big. Let's do some ground mustard. And remember, you can season this however you like. All of these are just optional. Okay, just make sure we get enough. That looks good. I'm gonna do some paprika. Is it paprika, paprika, or paprika? I don't know, but it's delicious. I don't know, that's for sure. <laughs> garlic powder. I don't know about you guys, but I have to put garlic powder and onion powder in every dish I make. It's like mandatory. It's our staple. Yeah. And then of course, some pepper. It's like snowing pepper. Yeah. Last but not least, salt. Ooh, can't get this baby open. Oh no. oh no. It's okay, accidents happen. <laughs> Did you know that sea salt is way better for you than Himalayan pink salt? Really? Yeah, there was an article about uh, Himalayan pink salt that it's really bad for you. Oh, well I like the pink stuff too. All right, just give this a good mix, just like this. Make sure all of those seasonings are nice and blended in with that sauce. All right, and that is ready to start cooking. Go ahead and put your lid on and set this to high. All right, it's been three hours. We're gonna go ahead and put this on off and check it out. Ooh! Whoa, the steam. All right, give this a good mix. See how it's kind of thickened up a little bit? Ooh. It smells I don't even, delicious. I don't know if you can even see it with all that steam. Oh yeah, we can see it. It okay. looks good. Mm, it's gonna be so yummy. All right, I did say these were sloppy joes, so I have my Hawaiian sweet rolls right here. Just remove those tops, just like that. And then we're gonna scoop our meat right in there, just like that. Wow. The best way to make sloppy joes, am I right? Yeah, it looks so good. Now, every good sloppy joe needs a little cheese. Hey, that's what I was thinking. I personally don't like American cheese, so I'm doing cheddar, because everything's better with cheddar. That's true, <laughs> I like your accent. Okay, and I'm just doing the slices, because it makes it so easy. I have this all in my pan, too, because we're gonna put this in the oven and let that cheese melt. All right, six slices of cheese. We'll do it. Put those buns right back on top, like this. And then before we pop these in the oven, I'm gonna grab some melted butter and a little brush, and I'm gonna brush the top buns with some butter. 
Wow, that looks so good. Yeah. Best way to do sloppy joes. It's hard to keep in my emotion of how good this looks. All right, now these are gonna go in the oven. It's set to 350 and it's only gonna be in there for 10 minutes because we just need that cheese to melt. Awesome. Would you look at those? That looks so good. Holy moly. Mm -mm -mm. That cheese is perfectly melted. Goodness, I want one so bad. Oh yeah, this is for you. Is that one ready for me? Yeah, it's, of course it's for you. I made these for you. I don't even like sloppy joes. Ooh, that looks delicious. Can I see like the sides of it? Yeah. Oh, look at that cheese. All right, baby. Enjoy. Is that for me? Thank yeah. you.